Hello, hello, my dears, my dear Libras. How are you? This is Ali J. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, let's get straight into it, my dears. I'm doing a five card spread, which has turned into a six card spread because an extra card came out for you, Libra. And um, let me put my timer on so I don't go overboard. And what is at the bottom of the deck for Libra? Well, looky, looky here. It's the Queen of Pentacles. Nice. So there could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn woman that somehow is very influential this uh, coming month. Or um, yeah, you could be getting into your hobby. Uh, your craft um, really you know this is the for Libra this is your 12th house okay so um, you could be really focused on money which I'm not surprised um, but you you could be wanting to be making your house better as well okay um, okay so this is a, a different spread it's a five card spread and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, get right into it where you are right now Libra Three of Wands. This came in ups, ups, upside down, actually. Are they all upside down? No, they're not. This is weird because this one came in upside down. Um, this, to me, right side up means you know what you want and you're going for it. I know what I want. This is your 12th house energy, so I'm going to take it because um, you're still like not sure what you want. And, of course, the famous Libra are trying to make a decision. Um, so... At this time, you're really not sure what you want. You're really kind of in the state of confusion, you know, being in the 12th house. I know that feeling. And um, you're looking at all options. Perhaps you're just open and you're just living, you know, just day by day. It's not really something of importance to you right now. Uh, okay, so what is, uh, oh yeah, this is, a, this is a place where your two cards came out for you. And I guess spirit really wants to help you out this month. Um, this is where is your power, okay? Now look at this, uh, Eight of Pentacles. There's no power in staying still, like, you know. Um, so this is, they want you to know that you're kind of in a stagnant situation, stagnant uh, time right now. And um, it's all because of your own air energy, your own mental realm of all your doubts and thoughts about yourself. And you might be beating yourself up is what I'm picking up. So please be gentle on yourself, my dear Libras. You are amazing. And um, yes, okay. So uh, where is your power? <laughs> Look at this. Um, I feel like maybe with the ecliptic energy and uh, the eclipse season that we just went through, I, you know, this is a water sign and you might be, you might be, a lot of you might be waking up, man, waking up, you know, to this new paradigm that we're in and the old you is dying. Okay. And the new you is coming in and you're waking up to a new world and you're like a, a new child. And what used to scare the living daylights out of you, it don't scare you no more. You're like, I, you know what? I'm not scared of that anymore. You also could be like, I don't want that anymore. Well, did I, that, I was into that. So there could be this whole, like, that's why where this confusion comes, like you don't even know what you want here because what you used to want, you, you don't want anymore. You're, you're growing up, my dear Libra. Oh, Libra's growing up. How beautiful. Okay, um, so that's this is a very heavy energy. Okay, Plutonian energy. Uh, it's a Scorpio card, death. And um, it's not easy energy, okay? So a lot, Jupiter is in Scorpio. And you've come this year, you know, I thought, whoa, Jupiter's in Scorpio. It's going to be so off the off the Richter scale with, Rick, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great with Jupiter and Scorpio. No, it hasn't because it's been retrograde the whole time. And it's been digging deep into those gutters to bring out all the sludge of emotions that we've packed down there. And then it says, hey, I'm in your face. What you think of me now? What you going to do now? And then then you got to face your fears and then you got to face all the stuff that you've Put in the closet and i don't want to deal with it and and so this is it this is the month where really libra you're going to deal with it <laughs> 
because it because the universe wants you to be stronger for the next st stage in your life it wants you to be able to handle it okay and that's why it's doing it you know it, it, it's 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 um, a it's a very kind of satirian energy too where it's like the disciplinary i'm gonna make you stronger you know um what doesn't what doesn't uh what does it say uh what doesn't kill you makes you stronger that's what i'm trying to say okay so um what is causing your situation libra the four of wands is what comes up so yeah just you are just too darn comfortable okay you are just the four okay i i just i i love i did this analysis on the five and i thought okay the five is is the game changer okay it's it's a number of change and it's the catalyst but before the five is the four i'm so darn comfortable there has to be some kind of catalyst energy to come in and change it because people don't grow in comfort comfort zones okay so you're so much in this comfort zone the universe is going to come and you know knock you down because it, it wants you to grow it wants you to evolve okay so what is causing your circumstance you ain't moving you ain't budging you ain't doing nothing okay and it's saying you got to grow you got to start going uh towards the light towards where you're going to grow okay now what is the outside influence the page of wands so many of you are too impulsive you go for it and you're not thinking okay you go for it and then you think afterwards and um or people are even maybe attacking you and going for you trying to uh um badmouth you and, and instigate you so i'm not saying it's you know these are outside forces i'm not saying it's necessarily you but you could be uh reactionary to people now this is the page who is a young soul who's always known what they want okay but this is coming in as the outside influence and they're also a fire leo sagittarius or aries and um maybe you have children maybe your children are really or maybe you have friends that are like children that are just consuming your time okay and you can't really focus on yourself and what you need to do for yourself okay what's the advice from the universe wow it's another wand energy it's because you're stuck it's because you're stuck and you don't know what you want and your passion has kind of diminished your passion is um gone maybe and so now the advice is you know get back to what you're passionate about get back to what you want and maybe because of these insecurities that you're telling yourself you can't do what you really want um this is where the death of the old you comes in and you're like you know, the universe says no you can do it you know you can do it you're going to come to see that we're going to take you to that place anyway so um when i look at the when i look at the death card it does remind me a little bit of the tower card because we're we're never really ready for death you know we live to die and we always forget that fact and we're always most alive when we're closest to death as well or we we have this great appreciation when it comes to like people we love or, or people we know or we look up to die and we're like wow life is short so that's why I look at it a little bit like the tower energy where it just completely shifts your this is going to shift your emotional outlook and it's part of your psyche too so why do you do what you do why are you scared of what you're scared of why um and it's also sex why are you attracted to the certain the kind of person you're attracted to so i mean there's a lot going on with you guys with the 12th house so let's continue um i'm gonna pull three cards with uh love in in mind and hopefully it'll give us some more information on that and um we'll see what's what the romance is going on for september for the libras but before we get there I do have specials. I'm going to shuffle while I tell you the, spe the specials. The specials. Um, it's my birthday month, so I want to give to you guys. And I've lowered my price. I have the Spiritual Soul Session for $18.99. And this kind of pinpoints where you're at emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. It's an hour-long reading. 
And um, if you want a specific question, it's $20.99. But I also have romance readings, and that includes a Celtic cross, my Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, with Oracle Angel Guidance. And if you are a repeat customer, please come to me again. Oh, we got four cards. You're getting extra cards, Libra. $16.99 for repeat customers, or if it's your birthday, it's your birthday, um, which is going to be a part of September, right? Uh, you can get a, a spiritual soul session, 45 minutes, or you can get a year ahead. Okay, and uh, that'll be nine business days for delivery. That's it for now. So let's see what we have for love. Oh, the nine of cups, a wish come true, you know? Um, so you gotta ha you got to have a high vibration in your thoughts because it's going to be manifesting and your wish is going to come in. And, you know, you got to let go of this regret energy of like could have, should have, would have. Um, five of cups, you still have those two cups behind you that you're not paying attention to. That could be why we had the uh, energy of the um, eight of swords because you're beating yourself up, darling. You're beating yourself up about the past. Let it go. We can't really control it. Um, just try to move from this point forward, okay? It's don't dwell in the past, but the, when you're in the 12th house, it's really hard. Uh, okay, there is a passion here, and you're going to walk away from somebody from the past to go for somebody from the, to the future, and you might meet them on the internet. You might do the internet thing, internet dating, or um, they might be from another country, another uh, culture, okay? And um, so don't be surprised. They don't have to be of the same. And the fourth card that they decided to come out again is the theme of you're stuck with a four. You're very comfortable. Maybe you're staying home too much. Maybe you're not going out and mingling. And, you know, if you want love, it's not going to come to you. I mean, yeah, maybe the Internet, but still you got to go meet that person, in, uh, that person in person at some point. So, um <laughs> You know get out of the funk i feel like it's like you guys are a little bit like um but i don't blame you because it's the 12th house right i mean it's like so hard when it's like right before your birthday it's really hard okay so um and what i mean by the 12th house is like your first house is libra so virgo is your 12th house okay and and it goes for every sign like that so usually a month before your birthday it's a little uh, nostalgic because the twelfth house rules the past, it rules um, mysticism, religion, spirituality. Uh, you know, it, it's a very deep house. Like I can go on and on and on about it. O M G! Look at that! Look at that Libra! It's gonna be all worth it because your soulmate is around the corner. Oh, I love this card. And I'm getting it more and more for my readers and um, for the readings I'm doing. The souls are coming together. The twins are coming together. It's taken so long. It's like birthing pains. My goodness. Okay. So here we have release. Okay. Again, the release. And the 12th house is about endings and release, which is ironic. And it says, you have the ability to give over unwanted energies. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. So release it, give it to the universe, let it go. Um, you know, we have a certain agenda, how we want things to go, how we see our reality and uh, the universe and our contracts um, have another agenda. But always trust it's, it's for our highest good and it's for us to improve and evolve and grow. So that's what's going on time out yeah you're gonna like you might want to be spending a lot of time at home yeah so it's like time out at home you know um, because you're a cardinal sign and um, you know you have your plans your ideas and your things but um, you're not gonna be it doesn't seem like to me like you're gonna be in the mood to be uh, too much around people and stuff you're gonna be really focusing on yourself that internal yin energy okay yeah and I was this is what I was gonna say oh yeah they, they, they just reminded me that's funny um, that this is a number one together 37 
you're you're cardinal and so cardinals are leaders a lot of the time and um so this is the leadership card take charge of this situation look at this man this is awesome this card is insanely gorgeous i love it um you're being supported okay and even though you feel like it's a little daunting because if you look at her she's looking up like wow how am i going to handle this but um you can definitely handle it spirit you know spirit's not going to give you anything you can't handle and and so you're going to be able to to harness the energy and and you're going to be supported angelically and you'll be able to get into those leadership shoes okay and your last card is abundance beautiful beautiful i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality whoa watch out watch out so yeah so basically you're beginning chiseled you're getting harnessed you're getting plummeted <laughs> with everything probably in in this uh, energy of, of september um it's all coming to accumulation for you to but look at the i mean you're gonna look at this this is gorgeous you're going to meet that person you got to keep your thoughts high vibrational even in the midst of you know um letting go let it go because something good wants to come in that's so cool so um be careful who you share your energy with too because that's what timeout is about um you're going to be getting downloads your your uh crown chakra so you're you're going to be getting revelations of information where it's all going to connect the dots and you'll finally have like that illumination aha moment where you can be like oh fantastic i get it now oh i get it now so i hope um this has been helpful to you guys and uh, i did want to let you know that i'm um promoting three gifts for september it's going till september 30th um if you follow me on facebook or ig instagram snapchat twitter or whatsapp um then i have three gifts i have a, the first gift is with a reading gift plus a reading second gift is jewelry and the third gift is card decks so um you know for me i feel like i want to give give to get and it's my birthday and i feel like you know i'm alive i want to give i want to you know I don't know it's just this feeling I have so um, I really hope to grow my channel and um, you know whoever subscribes I'm gonna do a meditative over who's gonna get the gifts um, over the, over the, the time that whoever you know I'm gonna write down whoever subscribes and everything and then I'm gonna pull three people so thank you so much for watching and I look forward to connecting with you in the future take care have a great month of September